Hello again everybody, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we are looking at multiplication through the lens of the metric system. Um, we are in our math journals on pages 124 and 125, unit 4, lesson 7, solving metric mass problems. So if you take a look at this uh, metric scale at the top of page 124, you see that uh, we have a conversion between kilograms and grams. Now, uh, Grams are the uh, base unit of measuring mass, or in simpler terms, weight. Um, and for every 1,000 grams, that's the equivalent of one kilogram. Kilo uh, is a prefix that uh, represents 1,000. Okay, so when we look at the table right here, shows us that 5,000 grams is equivalent to five kilograms. We see it here and we see it up here. So if I wanted to convert nine kilograms into grams, all I would do is I would take that number nine and then just add three zeros. Nine thousand grams would be right about here on that number line. So I could write a 9 right next to the 10. And if, if I had smaller handwriting, I could write 9,000 grams right next to it, like so. So when we are converting uh, grams to kilograms and vice versa, we just have to remember to either add three zeros or take away three zeros. So when we look at number two, uh, looking at how do we convert kilograms into grams, uh, if there are decimals involved, like we do here for 1.5, the decimals tell us that we have more than one full kilogram but less than two so we have to represent the difference in uh, grams okay so 4.5 kilograms would be more than four kilograms less than five so again i'm going to represent kilograms and grams by moving my decimal point three places over now in the first box when I do that, all I'm really doing is I'm taking 9 that has no fractional parts. And I'm just moving the decimal place over 1, 2, 3 places. And that's where those zeros come in. The zeros are there in reality. We just don't deal with them when there are no fractional parts. When something costs $5, I don't say it costs $5 and no cents. I just say five dollars. So if I have nine kilograms, I say nine kilograms and no uh, leftover grams. I just say nine kilograms. But when I have leftover grams, like say 4.5 kilograms, I have to move that decimal place value one, two, three spots over. So I got to fill in the blanks with some zeros, like so. So four and a half, or 4.5 kilograms, would be the equivalent of 4,500 grams. And again, if we were to look at that on our number line right up here, one, two, three, four. So four kilograms would be up here, 4.5 would be somewhere in between. Not quite 5, but more than 4. 4.5 would li live right there. That's 4,500 grams. Okay? So these kind of conversion problems, uh, dealing with groups of 1,000, we've done before with liters and meters millimeters, so this shouldn't be a new territory for you. Now let's take a look at this story problem for number three. 
It says deer weighing 13 kilograms, or weighs 13 kilograms, and a boa constrictor weighs 17 kilograms. About how many grams heavier is the boa constrictor than the deer? Okay. So in order to visualize this, we need to create a number line. Well, we can just use the same model that we have up here, where we group things in groups of five or five thousand. So if I use that strategy, I can space this out. Five. 10, 15, 20, and for every f 5 kilograms, I'm going to have 5,000 grams, so 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, and of course 20,000, okay? So, 13 kilograms, we live right about here, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 13 would be right here. So that would be 13,000 grams. 17 would live right here. There's 17. And so in grams, 17 kilograms would be the equivalent of 17,000. Okay. So what's the difference or how about how many grams heavier? Because that's what we're being asked to do is subtract. Uh, so it's really just the difference of 17 minus 13. 17 minus 13, of course, would leave me a difference of 4. So 17,000 minus 13,000 would give me a difference of 4,000, or 4,000 grams. Easy enough, right? All right, let's skip over to page 125, and let's tackle one more of these problems. But again, they like to phrase the problems using one unit, uh, but ask you for the answer in a different unit, just to see if you're paying attention. I'm going to jump down to, say, number seven, just for fun. It says, Buzz's bike shop received a shipment last week. Three bicycles each had a mass of 10 kilograms. Four other bikes each had a mass of 12 kilograms. All seven of the new bikes had baskets that each had a mass of one kilogram. How many grams total were in the shipment? Well, again, we're going to use the uh, strategy of ruckus to help us solve this problem. We're going to reread it. We're going to underline the question, circle the important parts, come up with an action plan, and then solve it. Okay, so once again, Buzz's bike shop received a shipment last week. Three bicycles. Each had a mass of 10 kilograms. Four of the bikes had a mass of 12 kilograms. And all seven of the new bikes had baskets that each had a mass of 1 kilogram. How many grams total were in the shipment? So that's a lot of bicycles and equipment. Okay, so let's start with breaking this down. Coming up with our action plan, we first need to know what is the mass of three bikes at 10 kilograms. Well, three times 10, of course, is 30. So that gives us one part there. Then we have four bikes at 12 kilograms. And of course, four times 12 is. 48. Then we have seven baskets, each coming in at one kilogram.
kilogram, so 7 times 1, of course, is 7. So we have 3 products, 30, 48, and 7. So we just need to add all those together. So by lining up the place values like I did here, it makes my calculations pretty straightforward. My total is 85 kilograms. Now, of course, if I'm converting kilograms to grams, all I have to do is come up with an answer that adds three zeros. So how many grams were in that shipment? Well, I just write down the number of kilograms, 85, and then I add those three zeros, which give me an answer of 85,000 grams. This is easy stuff. You guys can figure this stuff out. Once you've realized that the difference between kilograms and grams is just the, the addition or subtraction of three zeros behind your whole digit numbers, then you are golden. But if you have questions about uh, this uh, procedure, uh, about kilograms or grams, about mass, about multiplication story problems, please reach out to your math teachers. They will be happy to help you. Otherwise, friends, we will talk again soon. Thanks.